Hey, what's up survivors? I'm Robin and today I will be your guide on exchanging dogs. The best time to do these combinations is during the survival challenge called animal training. Click your calendar, scroll down, find your survival challenge, click this calendar, and it will give you a little list on what is next to come every four hours. So it's very easy to plan out exchanging your dogs. It's basically a free gold chest every day, sometimes twice a day. We've navigated to our dog kennel. This is where it houses all your animals and you will be doing all your combinations. Something important as a side note is our daily tasks located in the top right. Now these daily tasks are very important and they're very simple to complete. Always complete them each day. I have made a second guide on how to do that, but today we're just going on how to maximize your potential skills when exchanging dogs. Now I do use batch exchange, but this video is not about batch exchanging. I don't believe batch exchanging maximizes the results for you as you would when you're doing it manually. But on a side note, if you are batch exchanging multiple types of animals, you will have higher success. So exit out of our daily tasks, click on our exchange. You'll notice I've selected two animals with eight skills. This is not required, but it is recommended so that your skill of the main dog does not decrease when exchanging. Now, if you look at this, you'll notice that all the boxes are filled up. This is what you want when you're looking to maximize the potential of getting a higher skilled dog. Now we'll go ahead and click exchange and see what we get. This is always based on chance. You can never guarantee yourself a higher skilled dog, but we can definitely increase your odds of actually getting those dog skills up. You could be very unlucky or you could be very lucky in this scenario. The two level eight Huskies did in fact turn into a level nine Husky, which is great for us. Overall, that is a win-win. Now, people might wonder, why are we mixing dogs? Yes, you're gonna have to buy gem skills to re-outfit your dog to make sure that he is properly built for the formations that you will be using. As you can see here, I have two seven skill Rottweilers. If I scroll down, you'll notice that there's four boxes empty. This means that I've reduced the potential skills that this dog can actually exchange into. So try your best to always make sure that you avoid this scenario. Now, it's not always possible based on your spending power, how many gems you have, and the dogs that you've currently accrued. That's why I recommend you combine as many types as possible to generate more maximum potential skills. That being said, if we navigate to the shop, you can buy all these abilities that you're replacing for very cheap. So before you start adding legendary skills to your dogs, make sure you replace all the unwanted mixed skills. All right, that's gonna wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And if you guys have any further questions, please just ask in the comment section below so that I can clarify for you. And by the way, if you don't know, I do have a Discord community that I am running. It's currently in the description below. Go ahead and click that. And if you're not gonna click that, maybe click the video to the to my right. Thank you so much. You guys have a wonderful day. Peace.